Okay, so um, here we have our first lab, um, the go back end simulator. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, we were given this code down here by the book. Uh, the code below emulates the layer three and below network environment emulates and transmissions emulates the transmission and delivery possible possibility with bit level corruption and packet loss of packets across the across the layer three fourths interface handles the starting starting stopping of a timer and generates timer interrupts resulting in calling student timer handler generates message and sent past what we were given this by um our book and we just had to uh add a couple lines here in order for it to really show us more results for what we needed so um uh I'd like to get this done for you know hurricane hits I lose power so that way I can get it done and up online so you know that's why you're probably watching it because I got it in before or after hopefully before would be great but so let's see um this is altering bit in the go back end network emulator. Uh, this code should be used for PA2. Um, one, uh, so what it really does is um, one way network delay averages five time units longer if longer if there are other messages in the channel for go back end, but can be longer. Um, oh, like it says, packets can be corrupted. Packets will be delivered in the order in which they are sent. Although, so, um, the best way to, uh, understand code is if you, uh, run it. So, let me run this. So, let's see, um, first it goes into main, as you can see here. So, we're just going into, right here, we're at int, in int. So, this calls the simulator. You wanted to call the simulator. Oh, let's just step over. Oh, oh, that was my bad. So here you want to enter in the number of messages to submit. So let's um uh, let's do two messages. Uh, yeah, two messages. Let's see. Where are you? Um next thing you'd want to enter is the packet loss probability um, standard would be 0 0.1 enter the packet corruption probability uh, 0 0.5 and then um, average the time between messages from senders layers we've been using uh, 50 seconds for this in class so that's what I'm going to be using and then I want to enter in the number of traces I accidentally entered um, let's do two traces enter um so here stop and wait this is where we uh enter in so it go it goes straight to int the our void this is initializing the simulator so what we did was uh we entered in our number of messages to simulate packet loss probability packet corruption probability and the average time between messages and then I entered our trace and this brings us straight to right here if average is less than 0.25 or greater than and greater than um, yeah or greater than 0.75 luckily our average is 0.52 so it's between it so it should skip um, this whole procedure right here so if we do step over yep go straight past it to um, initializing our values here we're going to initialize these two values and then we're going to initialize time to 0, 0.0 and then sh go straight to our generate next arrival function so we are going to step into that one and I'll show you this so here's our generate next arrival this, um, this next set of routines handle the event list so this will um, actually generate next arrival creating a new arrival time that is if the trace is greater than 2 
but uh, I believe what we set it to the first time was our trace was two, so this won't run if we do over. See, yep, skip straight over it. I'm just gonna go back. All right, um, let's go back to this one. So we're gonna step over this, and it'll call um a int. So if we step into this, it'll go straight to our um a in int void which then just um sets a base and then sets the next sequel number to um one we'll just keep on going then we go into our b initialize this is just setting the expected sequel to one and then um our get ack pack to ack num equals our expected sequel number Um, and then it goes into a while loop, which then gets the next event to stimulate and also removes this from the event list. But yeah, this um, will just update messages. Right now, we don't really have to. I'm just going to jump past that to our next break. This break here, um, if trace is greater than two, then it'll print out main loop data given to student. But uh, unfortunately, our trace is not greater than two. So if we run this, it'll just skip over it. Let's scroll down a bit. Um, here, next, um, we then go to um, A output. I put a break here so, like, I can show you this. We have to update. We have to write a little bit here. We would just want a for loop that goes 20 times to um, update the message data and the checksum, or yeah, checksum would equal the get sent data here. You'd want it to be the get sent to seek one payload, but it's going to add that plus the previous one and equals checksum. If you want to send it back, just jump over that 20 times. And this is delivering packet um, by calling. You want to call the appropriate entry. So we're just going through it. I'm going to the while again. We just want to, um, we did this for a couple of packets we're sending, so it's going through each packet, doing it. Just going to jump ahead to the next point, break point I set up, and this is the delivering packet by calling. This is probably the second one, so we're just going to jump over this, go into it, jump over it. Here, and then, um, second one, trace over it again and there we go this is our event uh, event time for the first one was 4.6 type was 1 form layer entry 0 and this is the returning event time for the act so uh, we want entry 1 this is how long it took to return from the send, um, from the deliver. We sent this is this time is from us sending it to our destination. This is our destination back to us. Um, we had a bad checksum, but it happens. Um, we sent another trace. Uh, about ten point four seconds later out to ours but then uh, the packet being corrupted was not be able to send back um, here sent it a couple times so and there we go let's try uh, some different numbers because sometimes you get different results or let me get rid of the breakpoints here so that um, I don't have to keep clicking it, so won't make the time longer.
Let's see. Breakpoint gone. Breakpoint gone. This is my understanding of how this works. Um, we don't need this breakpoint, really. There we go. Um, so I can go through the code slowly so you can get it. So you can pause it at any time if you want to know more about it. Just scrolling through. Swear I'd say it's an act or not. Here's the networking network evaluation code. We're just going through this. We were given this code, so uh, so that oh, we didn't have to type this up. We were just given it by the book. And then let's see. I understand some of it, but a lot of it is just up there. Fast, here we go. Okay, we got it at the bottom. Okay, so let's run it with a different number. So let's uh, enter the number of messages. Let's do, um, let's see if you can see this. We're going to enter in, move this down here so that it's not like binding. The, there we go, there we go. Um, we're going to do three messages. Zero point. One ter zero point five. We're gonna do um, fifty seconds, and then we're gonna trace three. There we go. Okay, here we go. So we start at the top. We only do like one here. Okay. So as we see, generate next arrival, creating the new arrival. The insert insert vent time was 4.6 seconds. Future time it's estimated to be 80 seconds. Main loop was given by student. This is just a uh, message. Um, there was no act here, not yet. Shows the future time. Going through it again. Okay. That checksum, second one, take two, going through. This did come back, future time, time took to come back. And there we go. So, um, does show, let's see. This is sequence two. There's the one here. Coming back. Bad checksum. Fortunately, did have some bad checksum. But this is what we coded to do. We did a lot of this in class. So, um, some of it was pretty easier to understand, seeing as we had uh, did it in class. So we got feedback. But that was just about it. What we had to do. All right. Looks like. The hurricane has not hit yet, so I am able to put this up. All right, thank you. Um, we'll probably be doing some more of these labs, so stay tuned.